Disappointing news for the ISU Redbirds. The Big Ten Conference announcing they're only going to allow in-conference play for the football season this fall. This means the short trip over to Champaign to play the University of Illinois won't happen this fall. Purely from a fan perspective, it's a disappointment. Uh, students know each other in, the, in these two uh, institutions. Fans know each other. It's 50 miles apart. Players have been preparing for this in-state matchup. Quarterback Brady Davis says his mindset doesn't change. We're definitely getting after it the same way we would any summer and training, training really hard for a season. So it's, it's been good, you know, after months and months of being apart from everybody just to get back and, and get, get to work with your brothers again. Lyons says it's not only a blow to morale for players and fans, but it's also a big hit to the athletic department's pocketbook. Lyons says this doesn't mean the game is gone forever. He's working with U of I's athletic director to reschedule. The guarantee in the contract was $450,000. Um, and Josh and I agreed to, to let the dust settle, and we'll talk about the contract terms uh, down the road. Lyons says the football team is going through voluntary workouts right now, taking health assessments of players and staff every day to try and prevent the spread of COVID-19. Recently, players and staff were all tested for the virus. Only one player came back positive out of 160 tests. The young man who uh, was a positive was asymptomatic. He went through his quarantine period, and now he's back in his voluntary workout. Lyons says the next phase of tests will come next week when incoming freshmen and transfer students come in. He says they'll have to do much more than just COVID tests. They'll get physicals, sickle cell, and concussion-based line tests. Lyons says they're going to be looking for other opportunities to play a big game against a big team to help the financial deficit they're going to be facing this fall in the athletic department. They're also going to be waiting for guidelines from the Missouri Valley Conference. Reporting in Normal, I'm Matt Sheehan.